Okay, hello everyone, I'm finally back from my travels and I can start focusing on these YouTube tutorials more. I went to Lofoten, Germany, Italy and it was the best time ever. But now I'm home for a couple of months and I can start creating these YouTube tutorials more often. And uh, before this video starts, I want to announce that my Photoshop for Photographer's course is now 50% off only for this weekend. So if you want to get that, please check the links down below. You have all the information down below. And I won't do a 50% off sale in a long time. So if you want to get this course now, please check it down below. It's 47 lessons in five plus hours and you will learn everything that you need to learn as a photographer in Photoshop. Let's get into this video. Okay, so now I have moved here to Photoshop and um, I have opened my latest edit. If you want to check this edit out, it's up on my Instagram right now. You can click the link in my description and that will take you to my Instagram if you're interested in that. And um, a little backstory to this image. We flew to Germany and then we drove to Italy. And this edit is made from the images that I took in Germany. So, uh, for example, this is the Neuswanstein Castle, a really famous castle. And I just made this edit dreamy scene about it. But that's the backstory into this image but the main idea of this video is not about editing itself it's more about how to speed your workflow because when I started in Photoshop it used to take me six to nine hours or even longer to create an edit and nowadays I can run through these edits maybe even 20 minutes sometimes so my workflow has sped up so much because I've done this daily and I practiced multiple different ways how to improve my workflow and in this video I'm gonna show you a couple cool ways how to do it it's not a long video but but this will definitely help you out if you take this seriously. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I recommend you start doing is start to learn all the shortcuts for these tools here. And this might not sound like a lot, but I found this super useful when I started like practicing all of those. So what I used to do, I had a paper next to me on my table. And I used to practice all the shortcuts. I wrote them down on the paper and then I just forced myself to remember everything that has to do something with shortcuts. So nowadays I can just like come here, click B if I want to select the brush tool and that's it. Instead of selecting with the mouse. It doesn't sound like a lot of improvement, but when you really start to understand and you remember all the tool shortcuts, it's gonna help you massively. If I wanna move something, I can just click V for the move tool. If I wanna select something with the lasso tool, L stands for lasso tool. If I wanna select something, W to get the quick selection tool. Also, if I want to, for example, I wanna select or clone stamp something, clone stamp for S. You can see all the shortcuts here down also. This is super useful, P for pen tool. And I have listed all of these down uh, in the description. You can find a link to download the sheet where you can find all the shortcuts for these and also for the rest of the things in this video. But yeah, first start practicing these and now we move on to the next shortcut menu. So the next panel I wanna show you is the layer panel and you're gonna use these shortcuts all the time. And remember to download the list from down below so you can just download it and then start practicing yourself because I just wanna go through this like quickly in this video just to give you the idea. So here, for example, when you make layers, you're usually gonna duplicate something or you're gonna combine something. There's a longer ways to do it and then there's shorter ways to do it. And the longer way, for example, for duplicating would be hitting with the rightmost button and then hitting duplicate group, for example, and then hit okay. So you just have to do three steps to achieve that. And instead what you can do, you can just hit control J on your keyboard and that duplicates it for you really quickly. And you don't have to do any of those steps with the mouse. Uh, so that's what I always use. Then of course, going steps back, control Z. And then also if you wanna go many steps back, then you would do control Alt Z. So those are the most like efficient shortcuts that you're gonna use. Then there's also like combining. You can just hit control E on your keyboard and that will combine the layers for you really quickly. So control E for combining, control J for duplicating. And then there's also putting things in the group. And I recommend you starting using groups. I probably will make a separate video on that because this video is gonna focus on the shortcuts. So control 
J and that's gonna put them into groups. So control J for putting them into groups. You can also come here down below and click the group icon, but that's just like not that efficient in my opinion. Some people duplicate these layers in a way that they come here and then they drag it to the new layer and make a duplicate like that. And that's the most like, don't do it like that. These are small things, but they are gonna improve your workflow if you start doing them the fastest way possible. Then there's also deselecting. So this was a big part for me when I used to select something and I messed up, then I would come here to the lasso tool again and just click here. And what you can do instead, if you mess something up, you just quickly press Ctrl D on your keyboard for deselecting stuff. So that's for the layer menu. The next one, I'm gonna show you the adjustment panels and then a couple cool ways um, to the end of this video. So let's move on. Okay, so next on we have the adjustments and this is really quick. So instead of going here down and then adding, for example, a brightness and contrast layer. You can just turn the adjustment panels from here. You can go to the window and then click here on the adjustment and you should get the panel here. And you can just click here. It will take you some time to start like understanding the icons, but like brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure. So you can get them really quickly from here and you don't have to go down to this menu to add a new layer like that. That's for the adjustments. And then there's a couple more cool ways. Here in the tool menu, you have these colors. So let's say I put that to red. And now I wanna put this back to white. The normal thing you would come here, click and that resets it. And then you would click this icon here to play between those colors. So now what you can do instead is just hitting D on your keyboard and that, that will like reset the colors to black and white again. And then when you hit X on your keyboard, you can just like toggle between these colors. So that's something that you really should start using. Then when you're using brush, so let's say I'm grabbing the brush tool. So what I would do is hit Alt on my keyboard and then with right mouse button, I just click and drag and I can make my brush bigger and smaller and harder and smoother. So this is really important. Like this will speed up so much because the brush tool works in a way that you would have to come here and then play around with the size and you can't even see how much it like increases and then the hardness you can't really see how hard the brush is here you can even see the animation or red thing how shoved your brush is and it's really useful i use this all the time then there's a filter menu so from here i only use three shortcuts and it's the liquify and camera raw filter shortcuts so for the camera raw filter instead of coming up here filter and camera raw filter i just hit ctrl shift a and i can easily get into into that then there's also here you can see the liquify tool so for that i would just go shift ctrl x or shift ctrl x and i can just jump into the liquify tool really quickly and let's say i want to blur these trees here i would come to filter blur and then add for example a normal gaussian blur here and let's increase the radius like that i'm gonna hit ok so now if i want to duplicate this i can just come here filter and click here okay and that would duplicate it and there's even a shortcut for that so this will filter menu will always save the latest thing that you did from any of these menus and then you can just duplicate it by hitting alt ctrl f on your keyboard so now you can just go Alt, Control, F, Alt, Control, F, Alt, Control, F. And this adds the blur every single time to these trees here in front. And now this is the last shortcut or the last shortcuts that I'm gonna show you in this video. As I said, I wanna just go quickly through this. For example, if you wanna select the outlines of this, you would just hit Control and then click on the layer and that selects the outlines. And if you wanna invert this selection, some people would just click here and then select inverse. But what I always do is Control, Shift, I, and I can invert it really quickly like that. And then Control Shift I again to just uh, invert it. And then there's also like a layer via cut, layer via copy, new layer and stuff like that. So if you wanna like duplicate the selection, you can just go Control J and that will duplicate the selection that you had. Once again, Control J, really good way to duplicate things quickly. But I think I'm pretty much done with this video now. Download the thing from down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna start making a lot of new tutorials. I have my new computer now and I'm not gonna travel for a while. So you expect more videos from me in the future now. So yeah, I see you in the next video.